Hello fans and welcome to another edition of Reflections. Today I am joined by the original diva, the trailblazer for women in the sport today. Please welcome... And Hall of Famer. And Hall of Famer. How, how dare I forget? Hall of Famer. <laughs> Tammy Sitch, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's yep. always a pleasure to be in Rob Feinstein's home. Is that where we are? Because if I knew, I wouldn't have came. But um, anyway. Yeah, we are. All right. But the way I fell into the business, um, you know, Chris Candido got, you know, we were together sure. forever since high school. Um, he got hired in Smoky Mountain. And about a month after we moved down there, Jim Cornette asked me to work for him. And I was in college. I was a pre-med student. I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Right. There's a brain in, under this blonde hair. I just don't let a lot of people know about it. But, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I was just in college. And he was like, I really need a girl I need a fresh face to do this character blah 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 and I was like this is his thing you know I'm in school to be a doctor but I was like all right it might be fun I'll make a couple extra bucks and that's how I fell into it how'd he feel so about it Chris yeah oh he was thrilled right he was thrilled to death you okay. know I couldn't have been happier um and I was just natural at everything you know he gave me a microphone and told me to cut some promos and it was just so natural so that's how it worked right so I mean I had the passion earlier on because I was striving to be the best I could be at what I did and everything I did but I guess because I mean some people you know they grow up and all they want to do is be in the business all they want to do is be a wrestler all they want to do is be a manager or whatever um so they may, they might still have that passion because you know they they grew up with it. Whereas you know I, over the years I'm like it kind of just became a job for the me. The way I look at it is any publicity is good publicity. Right. The more people talk about me, the more I stay relevant, whether it's good or bad. Do you stoke the flame sometimes just to just to get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the master at stirring up negative publicity. Right. I'm a shit stirrer. But um, no, I always find that, you know, anytime I find that if, you know, I, I don't see my name out there as much, yeah, I will stir up a little stuff on social media and, you know, spark the flame. And it works. I mean, it works every single time. Like these, these people just like feed into it. So, That's I mean, the, and like I said, it doesn't, I don't care if people are talking good about me or talking bad about me. As long as they're talking about me, I'm doing something right. Sure. I didn't even refer to her. I didn't even name her. I didn't even know she was pregnant because I'm not on her social media. She heard about it somehow. Maybe she follows my stuff. I don't know. And took it as if I was attacking her. Meanwhile, I didn't know she was pregnant, not on her Facebook, not on her Twitter, was not referring to her in any way. I was making a generalized statement that pregnant women shouldn't do naked photo shoots. Right. And she took it as if I totally like attacked her and blasted her when it wasn't even remotely referring to her. Okay. So she took it to that next step. And then, then it kind of took on a life of its own. Yeah. And completely. you did fire back. Of course I'm going to fire back. She started firing at me for no reason because I wasn't even referring to her. Is there any point in time where uh, Tammy Sitch takes the high road? And people are like, oh, Dolph Ziggler would never. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> would you like to see proof? Um, how that happened, I mean, hold on, I've got to look for a lot, through a lot of naked stuff. Hold on, I've got a lot of nakedness on my phone. Uh, I mean, feel free to share. We hear reflections. It's not all We'd me. like to see a photo we've never seen before. I can show you a, a photo of me or someone else. Uh, I mean, you know. I'll show you a photo of someone else and you can try to, let's play guess the body. That mm. sounds like a pretty fun <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. I can't, I'll find, let me find the Dolph's picture first. Hold on. I don't know where it is. It's, it's, did I you felt like comments about his uh, manhood? It curves to the left. It curves to the left. And it was like literally a marathon, seven hours of just insanity. Seven hours of lovemaking? Yes. I lost nine extensions out of my hair. I, it was, I see. Hair was being pulled and thrown every which way. There, like, I, there was like hair extensions laying all over the place. Um, it was seven hours. It was, in, it was pretty intense. So then I had to go. I had a 930 flight, so I didn't get any sleep. I just took a shower, packed my bags, and I told him, I said, you're, you know, you're tired, you're head, you have a concussion. Stay here and get some rest. So that's when he fell asleep. I took the picture and then I went to the airport. We're going to play Guess the Body. This is... Here we go. I kept Dolph and I kept this one. That's all I've kept. Everybody okay. else has been erased. So everybody else is safe. So if you think you're on my phone, you're not. <laughs> Guess the Body. And this is, this is, this is a performer. This is a performer. Uh, Can we see it? Guess the Body. Guess the Body. Is this a, cur a current roster? Current. I'll show you another picture. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to hate me for this when he finds out I'm showing this. Uh, Ryback? No. Oh. And there is a picture. Um, the, well, you, let's see what it is. It's a, oh, wait. That's, that seems to be sort of some, some sexual juice. Body fluids there's on the abs. There's body fluids on the abs. On the lower abs. Now, that, I'm assuming that's his body fluid? Yes, that's his body fluid. Here's the, here's the shot again. 
Well, guess the body. He this shaved. This is a brand new game by RF Video. Guess, guess the, body. the body. He shaved the <laughs> body. Speaking from my. Ah, uh, she just gave it away. Oh wait. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Breaking news here on Reflections. Shh. Don't tell. Unfortunately. Don't we... tell anybody. Keep it a secret. Unfortunately, we've got to see some uh, intimate uh, juice. Juice. Oh. So he comes back to work, and I'm looking through a curtain watching the show and he's standing right behind me like looking over my head watching the curtain because we're all lined up against the curtain watching the show and all of a sudden he pushes up against me he goes you feel that and of course he was hard <laughs> and he's pushing up against my butt I'm like yeah I do and that was the beginning of the end so that night we went off and found an empty locker room did our thing and that's how it all started where, where was uh, Chris at the time I'm getting my plate <laughs> And you know you could feel somebody behind you, next to you or behind the presence, you, the yes. presence. And then I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn. I'm nose to nose with Sean. <laughs> he initiated it. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> I didn't see him up till that point. So he walks up behind me on the catering line, taps me on the shoulder. I turn around. We're literally nose to nose. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this. Uh, it's a little mm -hmm. personal, but I kind of have to ask it. Just oh, because. like I don't talk about anything personal. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll just throw this out there and, and yeah. get your reaction. Skype shows. What's, that all, what's it all about? Right. So I said to all, I said, we have, we, we have something here. All three of us were with a member of the clique. We got to do a book. We each write a third of it called The Click Chick Diaries. And we tell about all of our experiences. Since that's with, not well known, would she be reserved on... on oh, she's going to be pissed at me. Because I just let this out. Fair enough. She's like a big sister to me. And I'm sure I'm going to get a text message when she hears about this. Okay. I'm sure I will. What about Missy Hyatt? Ugh. <laughs> Really had to bring that up? I knew I'd find one. You really had to bring that up? I'm just trying to push buttons. Um, we, were, we were close years and years and years ago, um, leading up to the whole Vixens thing. We were close. Yeah. Like, uh, she lived in Manhattan. Was I that her to, idea? Yeah. Okay. I used to go in and like, spend a couple of days in Manhattan with her at her apartment. We used to go to dinner. We used to go shopping. We had a good time. Um, once the Vixens thing happened, she just was out of control. She had a debit card for the bank account that the Vixens came in and she was spending all the money. Mm. So none of us were getting paid. So it was just like, that's when everything started going south. And then I was still friends with her though and I was over her apartment. And this is where I cut off my friendship with her. I was over her apartment staying for a couple of days and she had a loft apartment. So her bed was up in a loft and there was a futon. And I slept on the futon. So I'm asleep on the futon. And it's like four o'clock in the morning and I wake up and literally two feet next to my head, we're at her little kitchen table. It was like a tiny little table with two chairs, a real small apartment. She's sitting there with some girl I've never seen before, and they're smoking crack. Mm. Right next to my head while I'm asleep. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And she was like, oh, just go back to sleep. Just about go back to sleep. I'm like, no. Go back to sleep. You're smoking crack next to my head. <laughs> right. I packed my shit and I left. You see, if, so, if something happened or to me ashamed. like if but something, you're not ashamed of anything. If something happened to me like that, oh, that name would be all over the but place. But that's your nature. It's a lot. It, it, yeah. it's, there's are a lot of people that will run and hide from from that. I don't hide. You definitely don't hide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hide from anything. You definitely don't hide. No, you don't hide your feelings. You don't hide who you are, and that's no. amazing. And that's why I, th I think everybody loves you. Well, some people love me. Everybody. Some does. people hate me with a passion, and I love everybody it. loves I love you. It. I everybody. Love, I love being hated. Reflections, Tammy Sitch, <laughs> thanks for coming out, guys.